There is a growing interest in enhancing beneficial insects in agriculture with non-crop insectary plants. Weeds, wild, unwanted vegetation can provide similar, even equal resources that attract and maintain beneficial insects. Using weeds as a tool for insect management is an emerging tactic in agroecology. Weeds provide alternative floral resources for pollinators, important in crops that require pollination by insects, such as mango, as well as parasitoids and predators that provide biological control of crop pests, attracting and sustaining these populations within a field. My research examines increasing biodiversity with weeds as refuge resource plants to enhance both the abundance and diversity of beneficial insects to benefit mango crop production in South Florida. I installed my experiment at a mango farm variety kits within the agricultural area of Homestead. There are two treatments applied to 30 trees each, 60 total, using a randomized block design, weeds or no weeds. For the weed treatment, weed growth is allowed between the trees with the weed species identified. For the no weed treatment, weeds are excluded around the crop using mechanical removal. I record behavior, collect and identify in the lab, insects interacting with weed species and the crop. The weed the insect is using as a resource is collected, vouchered, and identified. Nymphs and larval specimens are stored in individual containers in the plant ecology lab and raised to assess possible emergence of parasitoids. Pollen analysis of weed and mango flowers is conducted and insect specimens examined for pollen to examine which are acting as pollinators. The study is completed within one year with weekly data collection from the end of one production season to the next. Sampling of fruit yield per tree is done visually by multiple observers and averaged and counted when harvested. My hypotheses are that one, there will be a higher abundance uh, and diversity of beneficial insects on weeds and the crop than on the crop without weeds present. And two, that there will be a higher fruit count per tree in the weed treatment than the no weed treatment. The mango trees in my study are mature trees which have deep roots to access the water table and are sensitive to excess nutrients. Therefore, leaving small flowering weeds around them may, will not pull water away and may even help prevent over-fertilization. Farmers already tend to leave weeds around their farm as removal is expensive, time-consuming, and uses harmful chemicals that hurt the environment and workers' health. With increasing threats to monoculture farms in the face of climate change, Leaving flowering weeds may, as plants to support beneficial insects, can be an option when other companion plants won't grow. They can also enhance diversity, making farms more resilient to climatic events, diseases, and pests. Utilizing wild plants can allow for less chemical use, alleviate the pollinator decline crisis, and overall increase environmentally sound agriculture across South Florida.